Heads up, Otto! Catch! <laughs> Gold over here, Goggo! <laughs> I bet you can't catch it! Throw it high, Otto! <laughs> Gogo, are you hurt? Oh no, it's his hand! He sprained it for sure. Don't worry, Gogo, we'll take you to the veterinarian. <laughs> Gonna need a bandage down there for sure. It's a good thing, Pelsies, that ravens are top-notch veterinarians. Lucky for us, Dr. Zoolittle's holding a clinic at Mr. Director's house today. Dr. Zoolittle isn't here today. He left a few days ago for an important medical conference. But Gago's hand has to be bandaged. And right away! Benjamin, what are we gonna do? Hmm. I know what we'll do. Come along, Gago. Take it easy, Gongo. Benjamin will help you. So much stuff. There must be a bandage in here somewhere. Aha! So, don't be afraid, Gago. Could you hold the bandage, please, Otto? Sure. Exactly. Once, twice. Benjamin, you're doing a fantastic job. Like a real live veterinarian. You're absolutely right, Otto. You know what, Benjamin? I want you to take over for Dr. Zoolittle until he gets back. Me? But, uh... Sure, you can do it, Benjamin. Absolutely. And I already have an important job for him to do. The oral vaccine for the African hopping hiccups. A contagious disease. Very dangerous to our zoo. Are you listening, Benjamin? Uh, of course, Mr. Director. Uh, hopping hiccups, right. Now for your slang, Gago. When Carl brings the new desert fox later, You'll have to administer these sugar cubes. Sugar cubes, yes. Thanks a lot, Mr. Director. Otto, the scissors, please. I wonder what's taking Carl so long. Fluffy love, Mama's going to take care of you. My goodness, that woman is phenomenal. My dear lady, <gasps> may I be allowed to wish you a, a lovely day? Easy. It's a good thing Dr. Zoolittle also has such a big belly. What do you mean, Otto? Oh, nothing. Now you're a real Dr. Benjamin. Thanks, Otto. Oh, <laughs> sugar cubes. How thoughtful. Good old Mr. Director. <sighs> Mmm, yummy. Hello, my dears. Miss Caramba. Dr. Benjamin. Oh, sensational. Huh? Yeah, that's 
Carl with the desert fox. A bandage? Phooey! Healy could take forever with that. Modern doctors like me simply put a cast on the injury. It dries in seconds and keeps the sprained joint from moving. <laughs> and now, off to the patient. <laughs> and so we welcome you with open arms to the New Town Zoo. One, two, three, Toru! <laughs> guy. What should we call him? Dusty. Dusty Desert Fox. <laughs> Enchanting. Little Dusty, what do you say? Do you like your new name? Oh, at least a little nibble nibble, Fluffy Love. It looks oh. yummy, doesn't it? Does Mama need to worry that you aren't hungry? Come on, come here. <laughs> now then... My dear lady... Mama's oh. going to take Fluffy oh. Love right to the puppy doctor, and then everything's going to be goody-goody again. <laughs> Fluffy love. All she cares about is that dog. Rocky Raccoon, Ringo Red Fox, and our new zoo resident, Dusty Desert Fox. Will you please come this way? <laughs> Just a minute. Did you give Dusty the oral vaccine, Benjamin? The oral va... What's an oral vaccine, Mr. Director? The sugar cubes that I gave you in the examining room. Really? Sugar cubes? They were for Dusty? Benjamin, of course they were for Dusty. I thought that, uh, you would, uh, I... Ooh. Is Dr. Zoolittle here? Hmm? Oh, uh, Ms. Snooty Boots. No, I'm very sorry, but I... You have a sick animal? I'm the veterinarian today. You? <laughs> <laughs> Sensational how all the animals love our Dr. Benjamin. Hello, Fluffy Love. What seems to be the problem? Are you ill? Let's go into the doctor's office, Benjamin. Then you can examine Fluffy Love properly. Ah! A patient? Huh? Well, who knows what the big guy might do to that poor little pup? The first thing a sick animal like that needs is a little something yummy to calm him down. Mmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sometimes, of course, you need a, a couple of somethings, or three, or even more if it happens to be a wild animal. Um, um, well, uh, I can be pity wild sometimes too, you know. <laughs> so, Fluffy Love, what's bothering you? Aha, I see now. Mr. Uh, Benjamin, what do you think you are doing? That's Fluffy Love's favorite ribbon. I'm afraid not, Miss Snooty Boots. There. <laughs> What is the meaning of this, Mr. Benjamin? Fluffy Love doesn't like it when you dress him up in these silly outfits. He's ashamed. You mean 
to tell me that if I get rid of the outfits, my little fluffy love will get better? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will, won't you, boy? <laughs> and what would you think if I named you Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, not so wild. Benjamin. Goodbye, Miss Snooty Boots. Come back again tomorrow for your follow-up. Next, please. Hello, Benjamin. Well, hello, Tina Bell. How did this happen? Hurry just couldn't get enough of his milk. And that's what happened. And, it, and if I try to break the jug, I'll only hurt little Purry. Don't worry. We'll have it off in no time. Take it easy, Purry. Now just pull your head back very carefully. Okay. Now! Oh, Benjamin! Oh, little Purry. Great job! Oh, thank you so much, Benjamin. My pleasure, Tina Bell. But from now on, give your kitten its milk in a little bowl. I'll do that for sure. Well, who have we here? What a lovely name! My dog's called Daisy. How on earth could you put such a silly ribbon in the poor animal's hair? But even a child could tell you that it's going to make her sick. Just ask Dr. Benjamin. Oh. Come along, Fluffy Love. I suppose he knows everything. It's great to be a veterinarian, Otto. It really is. Yes, it is, Benjamin. But our work's done for today. I gotta go home. Yeah, and me too. See you tomorrow. I still have to take something to Dusty Desert Fox. Their work is done? Ah! Some veterinarian. Dr. Gulliver doesn't know the meaning of the word tired. Ah, oh, he's ready for... Oh, action. <clears throat> 24 hours a day. More grapes, please. Hold the seeds. Dusty. Dusty! Oh. Hello, Dusty. Feeling at home already? Look what I've brought for you. From me to you, Dusty, because I accidentally ate yours earlier. You're not angry at me, are you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You like them as much as I do. Well then, sleep well in your new home. Good night. Huh? What was that? Must be hearing things. Is there something wrong, little Daisy? Are you hungry? James! Miss Daisy. With 
just breaks your heart. <laughs> we need a veterinarian, James. Indeed, Mr. Baron. Well, there's an excellent one in Newtown. Benjamin the veterinarian. So I hear. It's a good thing we have the morning off school to do. Ho, 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 ho. That's a great imitation of our little dusty desert fox, Otto. I wonder if we have any patients waiting yet. First patient, please. Whoa! Whoa. Good morning. Hello. Oh. Oh, my. What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know. My little Daisy won't eat and won't stop crying. Huh? If you're such a great veterinarian, Mr. Benjamin, you should know what's wrong with her. Yes, well... Uh... <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness! Benjamin, it's the African hopping hiccups. The African Hopping Hiccups! Hmm, sounds exciting! Raven doctors can deal with anything. Always wear a hygienic mask. <laughs> Benjamin, you have to tell me what you did with Dusty's sugar cubes. I was gonna tell you earlier, but Miss Snooty Boots interrupted. I hate him. <gasps> But I gave Dusty some of mine. Benjamin, sugar cubes by themselves aren't vaccine. They aren't? No. Dr. Zoolittle put vaccine on some sugar cubes just for Dusty. Otto, why didn't you keep an eye on things? That's that, I guess. We can't do anything now. I was already vaccinated because of my trip. And you've already vaccinated yourself, Benjamin. <sighs> and all the others... ...have been infected. <gasps> That's right. You too, Otto. And I don't know of any medicine for the hopping hiccups. This is very serious. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Director, the zoo has got to be closed. No, we can't do that. Benjamin, I have to agree with the Baron. The hopping hiccups must not be allowed to spread further. And it's all my fault. There must be something I can do about it. <laughs> What's Daisy up to? Wait a minute. I think I know what we can do about the hopping hiccups. Really, Benjamin? Man, is that true? Mr. Benjamin? Well, let's hear it already. It's my opinion that the only remedy for the African hopping hiccups is... Mm, an old home remedy. Ah! An old home remedy for the African hopping hiccups? Man, it's enough to make a raven doctor car. I've just got to be there when the big guy makes a mess of things. Ah! Dusty and Otto, very deeply. Boom! gone! Oh, yeah! Getting a fright helped stop the hopping hiccups. You're all better now. Bravo, Benjamin! <laughs> Next patient, please, Otto. <laughs> 
Watch closely, Gago and Carl. Ooh. Look! <laughs> Your income should be all gone now. <laughs> all better. Just hold your breath until we stop counting. Are you ready, little Kanga? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All better. Scare me? Oh, Mr. Bench. Oh, oh, oh. There isn't anybody that can scare me. Wait just a moment, Miss Karamba. Uh, I can hardly wait for this. Toru! <laughs> that was supposed to scare me? <laughs> huh? I wasn't really trying to scare you, Miss Karamba. Laughter does the trick, too. It's true. They're gone. My hiccup thing. Oh, sensational, Mr. Benjamin! Next patient, please! Finally! I've already told you my little Daisy won't eat and can't sleep! Poor little uh -huh. puppy! Then it's not the African hopping hiccups! You don't say, Mr. Benjamin! I never would have guessed! Let's see, Daisy. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt ya. Huh? Aha! That's it! Well then... For heaven's sake, Dr. Benjamin, what is it? Mr. Barrett, your daisy has... Yes? A case of puppy love. What? What? <laughs> I prescribe at least one visit per day for Daisy and Fluffy Love. <laughs> well, if that's what the doctor orders. <clears throat> Perhaps I may be permitted, my dear madame, to invite you for a daily walk. It would be an honor. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin, I would like to thank you for your excellent work with this modest check. Oh, thank you, Baron. The check goes to Mr. Director, of course. Clearly, you are the best veterinarian in the world. I think so too, Benjamin. <laughs> Three cheers for Benjamin! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Toro! Well, no more work for Dr. Gulliver. Now they're all healthy. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it can't be this African hopping. <laughs> Can it? A doctor! I need a doctor! 